You guys have got to see this. I know I have this clan war chest that I'm going to open up here in a second, but you guys have got to check this out. Okay, so my loving wife, come eat with me a little bit. Do you guys feel that? There's a tinge. Sorry, it's dark. There's a tinge of winter in the air, which is the worst, uh, the absolute worst time of year when, you know, winter's coming. But check this thing out. Oh my gosh. So my wife has been cleaning and organizing our garage. Look how clean it's looking. I know you guys don't know what the before looked like or anything, so this is probably like nonsense to you guys, but it looks so clean in here compared to what it used to look like. Look at all that shelf space we have. I'm so excited. Let's open that clan war chest. I'm actually not sure what happened with the recording. I think I forgot to push something. Anyway, I got the chest opening recorded. Here it is. The clan chest. Ugh you'll see, you're seeing right now, but I mean, it's okay, but the gold's good and the card's not bad. It's just frustrating that you work for two weeks and then you don't get a legendary. It just chaps my hide and then, or yeah, I might get a legendary. Ooh, ooh. Actually, you, you, you can tell I don't get a legendary. Okay, so. Frustrated, sure, but a legendary really at the end of the day isn't the hugest thing anymore. You just need the gold. But since I got so much sweet gold from that flipping uh, challenge a little bit ago, then that's, dude, <sighs> excited to say the least. Okay, excited. I love all that gold. So I'm going to be doing some upgrades in a video up here soon, but I wanted to play this deck. This deck is being doing pretty dang Okay, I mean, mean by okay, I mean I've won one battle with it, so that's pretty good for me. And so we're going to go live, but I think I want to upgrade my Ram to level 10. The Ram is obviously a card that I like to use, and I think I need to upgrade it. I may upgrade my Flying Machine if we win this first battle here. I may upgrade the fi Flying Machine. So I saw this in on Ash's video um, a little bit ago, and... I've been trying it uh, with moderate success, meaning, of course, I won one battle with it. That's a win in my book, okay? Um, anyway, so, theory behind the deck. Check this out. So you start out with Zappies in the back, obviously, um, just to get things rolling. Uh, makes the opponent think a little bit, oh no, this guy's playing Zappies, what should we do? Oh no, oh no. So this isn't bad, this is this is okay. We're gonna put our flying machine down just to kind of help with the uh, Night Witch, take all that action out. Hopefully he doesn't have like a, ooh, nice, this is gonna work out great. Boom, zap that. Zap that today, people. Uh, what's the flying machine like focused on? Oh, obviously we must have been focused on the giant. But we have a monster push coming in. He has to answer this, obviously. I'm guessing, ooh, that was actually a really good answer. Dude, that skeleton army absolutely obliterated that entire push. Three elixir, stopped Pekka, and stopped my flying machine. Otherwise, I would have rocked his world. Oh crap, what are we doing here? Oh, we're gonna have to go zappies uh, for the Start shooting. It feels like the zappies take forever to actually start their little zap. You know what I'm saying? We're going to push really hard right here. So we're going in with a bandit. Ooh, bad move. Bad move. That's okay. We got flying machine up here um, just to assist with that. This flying machine with that one zappy should kind of stop most of the hits. I guess we're going to take a little bit of damage. That's okay. We're going to go push with battle ram. I like this push. Just don't. Um, here we go. We're going to zap that. Boom. And then he does have Skeleton Army. It looks like it's going to come out a little bit late. Battle Ram still got a shot off, which I am happy about. Skeleton Arm is going to be annoying because I don't have two zaps. If I had two zaps, I'd be happy, but I don't. So there you go. So he does have Giant Graveyard is what he's rolling. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our Zappies in the back again um, right here. Okay. And then Pekka up here for that. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go E-Wiz up on that, just because I want to take that down a little. Oh, really? Good play, actually. Ooh, this is really bad, actually. What? 
Why? Like, honestly, why? Oh, that actually works out really well that he did use that. So that's great for us. We're going to go flying machine over here. I guess I will have to zap all that away because that would have taken us all out. Now, I know that he does have the... Mm, watch this. Boom. Come on. Did you guys see that? That was awesome, and you guys know it, you guys. That was so cool. Um, that was a clutch prediction. I just don't know if we're going to be able to get to the tower still. Very unfortunate. Let's go. We need to get our battle ram back on the map. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to zap that. That was such a clutch prediction fireball. I'm so sad I'm going to lose that because that was so clutch. Gosh dang it. I thought that was a great play. It makes me sad that we lost that. Let's try another one real quick here. I think I played that a little bit wrong. I mean, obviously my levels are a little bit lower and these guys are pro on their decks right now in the ladder because this is all they play. And I'm switching this up because I want to use some different decks that I can get good at, that I can actually rock the house party with. And so I have a couple of decks lined up for the next couple of videos that I think are going to be pretty awesome for you guys to use too. Um, Zappy's in the back again. That's what we're going to start with. I just love them. They're fun. They're exciting. <sighs> All right, Musketeer. That's going to be interesting. So let's go flying machine right here. I'll let him get a few wax off on my Zappy. And then the flying machine should... Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was actually a good play on his part because it refocused or else I would have taken out... Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. There we go. It's actually a good play. We're going to push the other lane, actually, which is weird, weird enough, because I'm going to keep the pressure on both lanes. Ouch! How did he know to split those things? Like, that was absolutely a beautiful play on his part, probably without him even knowing it. So, good job, whatever your name is, dude. Very good job. Um, let's go Zappies right here. And then we're going to go Ewiz as well. Zappies are doing a clutch job, though. Look at those Zappies clean up all that Musketeer and that Barb Horde. Not too shabby. He has to arrow that down. This is a problem. <laughs> I do have a little bit of an issue here. Hog Rider's going to get some shots off today, people. He did zap that, though. The only problem, I would put my Bandit down, but I know he has the Barb Horde back in cycle, and so I'm going to hold off just one second because we're going to make a power play here in a second, and it's going to be awesome. Okay. Okay. I'll just let that go. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Pekka in the back. I don't like that play because you should always use your Pekka like on defense. But I kind of do like the play at the same time. It's going to force him to go all in on this one side, and I think I like that a lot. So let's go battle ram, bam. Okay, and then he's got to go like that. Oh, flip! Did I just miss that musketeer? I did. That was embarrassing in every way, shape, and form. Dang it! Okay, we're going to go like that. And then we have another P.E.K.K.A. right here, baby. So the P.E.K.K.A. will tank for that, obviously. The only problem over here that I see is that little critter right there. I'm going to have to do something about that. And then we're going to get another bandit charge right here. Um, yes. Come on, baby. Oh, flip. Nice job. Nice defense. That's cute. I like all that. So let's get... Uh, battle ram right here just to distract. Oh flip. I put the battle ram down a little bit too soon. No! Oh flip. Oh flip. He just absolutely rocked me. That was that was just obviously not knowing how to play this flipping deck right there. That's what that was. So I'm gonna have to fireball that. Uh, we're gonna go Pekka right here. Um, looks like he is gonna go hog rider. Come on. No, 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 no. Focus on the hog rider. Dang it. Oh, flip! That's two losses in a row! One more? <laughs> this deck's... gosh, it's gotta work! It's gotta work. It worked for me before, and so we gotta try one more time. Because this is just embarrassing at this point. So let's try this thing. Um, I hear one of my gremlins coming down. I see her. There she is. Alright, let's go... Mmm... Kristen, Kristen, Kristen. We're going to go Flying Machine, and then I'm going to go E-Wiz right here. Flying Machine should be able to take out minions. I don't even know if it does or not, but in theory, you would think four elixirs should take out three, but that's good. Oh, so he's got a Mortar deck. Interesting. Not too shabby. So here's what I'm going to rock. I'm hoping he has Mortar Hog. 
Um, so let's put our zappies in the back here. And then I'm hoping he has hog. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go hasta luego. Um, interesting deck. So let's go P.E.K.K.A. Um, really interesting. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and zap that. Boom. All right, sorry about that. She was like spazzing out on the ground. She wanted up here so badly. So I kind of got distracted for a little bit and then... Are you sad? Oh, you okay? So sad? That's okay. We're going to rock this guy's world right now. He doesn't even know what's happening. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Let's go Pekka right here. Boom! Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, baby. That bandit's going to go kill that mortar right now. Oh, baby. And we're going to kill all that with that. Oh, flip. That was a horrible zap. See what happens when you're holding the little girl. Uh, zap, 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 that, that. Kill that. Yes, yes. Actually, not a bad play. I'm still happy with it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... Okay. So he's got flying... We're going to get a flying machine in here. We're going to get some zappies over here. Yes. We should be able to take that out without doing anything else. I'm just going to let it kind of go. I'm going to take a little bit of damage. And then I'm going to drop my P.E.K.K.A. clear in the back right here. Hoping that he uses his flipping minion hoarder in a second. I know he has rockets. So he's trying to get it down into rocket range. Which that's cool. It's a smart move. It is. So we're going to go E-Wiz. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go Bandit right here. Okay. Flying Machine right here. Zappy's right here. Come on, baby. All we got to do is stop that flipping push right here and then let that P.E.K.K.A. get to the tower, which I think it can do. No! Okay, we're going to go this side. We're going to go Battle Ram. Uh, yes, 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 yes. He just used his log, so he's, he's gangbusters right now. Come on! Let that get there. Yes! That bandit got on the tower. Oh my gosh, people. We might have an action here. We might have something here. Yes! We are within fireball range. That's with a distraction, you guys. Okay, we actually made that work. That actually worked out decent for us. Thank you so much. We finally played a level 13, and we beat her. <laughs> Him, it, her. Probably her, obviously. Anyway, I'm going to take her to get a drink.